Well, you know what time it is. It's for Happy Tabson we're going to be seeing for an interview here. And I cannot wait for this because he's done it once again. He's got a big smile on his face straight away. Tabson, <laughs> you not only have just gone 3-0 and and qualified for this with a legend slot, you've also just added a 19-year-old player from your academy team. You've made this journey. Honestly, when you came into this event, did you feel like that was something possible? Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, obviously, we had our expectations to be at least... A uh, contender, not a legend, uh, like uh, to have a legend spot, obviously. Uh, I think uh, we just managed to um, yeah, beat all expectations from everyone, I would say. Like, we just added someone who's really new to the game, but he has so much experience within the game. Like, he plays the clutches, he plays really smart and calm, yeah. and he gives so much uh, calmness into the team, also brings really good firepower itself. Like, it's a really outstanding player in Germany, and we don't have these kind of players usually in Germany, so I'm no. really glad that he is in our team. I want to ask as well, right, when it comes to Krimbo specifically, we were just talking about the fact his, his confidence, like, in these clutch situations, it doesn't matter who he's facing, like, just now, you're facing the best team in the world. He's jumping around, he's very active with this. Is this just how he plays, or is this just some extra confidence you guys have instilled of him? Explain it to me. Uh, I think both. I think he knows that he is capable of beating definitely some kind of uh, top-level players. He's putting the, uh, the work into the game. He knows exactly how he needs to play all to the clutches. He's also asking himself what he can do better all the time, so it's a really good sign. All, obviously, we are trying to help him as well a lot, and he ha like with our stuff around, we have legends in our stuff who try to do everything what they can to make us feel the best. We have everything what we need to perform, basically, and I'm really glad that everyone is playing their hearts out and just managing to play the best what they can do. Tepsen, you know better than us, you know, what kind of game this was against FaZe Clan, and I'm curious to your perspective, right? Because it felt like it was a very back-and-forth fight, especially on Mirage. Was this you guys playing some of the best Counter-Strike you played with this lineup, or was it FaZe as well, maybe not living up to the same expectations as we've seen a couple of weeks ago? I think it's really hard to say. I would say I definitely on myself I had a really good game plan against them on both maps. I had um, like on the T side I knew kind of what we need to do to beat them and also be maybe a little bit in their heads. Uh, other than that, I think we played really amazing Counter Strike uh, the last few days. I think also the qualifier which we played before the tournament here, we also managed to qualify for a close qualifier. I think uh, we are on a really good way to perform maybe even better in future. But uh, I believe that also FaZe maybe struggled with maybe, I don't know, like I think maybe they maybe a little underestimated us. Um, also, it maybe went in our way that way, but um, yeah, for me, to be honest, I really don't care what the other are doing. We are just focusing on ourselves <laughs> and fortunately went uh, this time in our way. And listen up, you know, it, it, was there anything in particular you did, you know, was there anything you tried to, to do in your game plan or in your preparation to make them feel uncomfortable? Because it felt like to me that a player like Brokey, who's been playing so well lately, didn't get enough space to do what he do. Was, was there anything like you prepared your team for? Uh, we, we didn't prepare uh, specifically on Brokey. Like we, we prepared basically on ourselves what we can do, what we are the most comfortable with, what we maybe know how the enemy will handle in certain situations. Yeah, and other than that, we also hit our shots. I, I believe we played one of our best individually counter strikes we ever played. And not only one player, usually it's only one or two players maybe in this team. And this time, I think uh, statistic-wise, I was the worst player in this tournament. And like... Uh, I take it. I always <laughs> take it like that, you know, and I'm just really happy that it went yeah, our way. I don't, think, I don't think you were the worst uh, player after this last map, though. Uh, so uh, ah. just congratulations. <laughs> and uh, just, yeah, you mentioned the firepower. We're talking about firepower. This is our whole thing for the segment. But big has always been a team, you know, very smart players, tactical, great utility. Now with these two signings, Faven and now Krimbo, are, are you a team that do you see yourself being like one of the stronger individual teams? Is this like a kind of a new era of big? Uh, it's really uh, hard to say now. It's like we just managed to beat obviously really good teams in this tournament, but we are looking forward to have more of these kind of tournaments. We were, we were struggling lately, of course. We managed to play decent Counter-Strike in Pro League, I would say, but we didn't qualify for Pro, pro League uh, playoffs. So um, I think we are on the, on the, really, on the right path. And uh, if everyone is playing this kind of individual Counter-Strike, smartness, calmness, playing really good individually, hitting-wise, I think uh, we are definitely a contender to be one of the best individually wise I would say now Tabson I also wanted to ask I heard that Gob was also here down in Romania with you guys 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. so he's here as well. Has he been <laughs> working with Crimbo specifically? Is there anything he's been in? Because obviously we talk about the experience of what he used to bring to the old big roster. He's just experienced in FPS in general. I wanted to see what he's doing for you guys. Uh, his job is basically, uh, he's a motivator. He's doing a fantastic job in that. Like he's, in, you, you feel it if he's in his room, like in our room. You feel that mm. he's, he's, he's there. He's just, the way how he acts, how he talks and stuff. He, you know, you, you cannot just, you, you just perform basically when he's here. And other than that, he's also being criticized, uh, like he criticized me a lot with the in-game uh, stuff. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so it's really, really appreciate that he's here. And uh, obviously, like it's, uh, yeah, how do you say it? Like it's a pleasure and it's, it's so appreciated to have this kind of such a legend to, to be to working with us, you know, like it's... Uh, it's amazing. A great presence to have around the team. Well, Tabson, yep. you've done a fantastic job. You've made it to the Major. You're going into the Legend spot as well. So go off and enjoy your time, my man, and we'll see you at the Major. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. There's nothing you can't like about Tabson. You know, he's gone through one